week three of the 2022 NFL season has been filled with lots of surprises, as it is every week, because, hey, a lot of upsets, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of comebacks. We're going to be covering all that, as well as looking forward to week four of the 2022 NFL season. Thank you guys so much for joining this episode of Time to Football. My name is Hassan Khan, the host of this channel that we like to call Time to Football. Glad you guys are able to stumble across this video. If you guys aren't subscribed to this channel yet, I encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button because we come out with these podcasts every week to get you guys covered with the NFL season. And joining me, as usual, the co-host, the man of the hour, Anthony yes. DuVernay. Ooh, not Devin DuVernay, Anthony DuVernay. Not Let's Devin. Go. Hey, my dis- <laughs> hey, if people call you Devin DuVernay, that's a compliment. I'm okay I mean, with it. Hey, I'm okay with it. Three straight games with a touchdown. I love it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to cover everything with week three. Look forward to week four. Uh, the topics that we got here today is the Miami Dolphins mm. upsetting. Is it an upset? I don't know. I mean, give them their credit. 3-0 and advancing, beating the Buffalo Bills. We're also going to be talking about another 3-0 and team, the Philadelphia Eagles, if they are legit or not, mm. and how long is this going to last. Uh, which team is in the most trouble following week three? And then looking forward to week four, picking out one game that we feel like might be an upset victory for each team. Let's start off with that Miami Dolphins team. Okay, okay. Like, it's wild to me that, okay. It's I, wild. It's wild to me. I want to give the Dolphins credit, and I will give the Dolphins credit. I think yeah. the Dolphins are legit. But against the Buffalo Bills, like, was this, like, are the Bills still the best team? There's so much to unpack here. But let me give, let me ask you, yeah. let me give you the floor. What are your thoughts on the Dolphins beating the Bills? Um, I think I think the Dolphins survived the Bills. I don't think they beat the Bills. Wow. Okay. I mean, Josh Allen fumbled a spike. Bumble, <laughs> you know, um, they missed a field goal from their kicker, who's amazing. Um, Josh Allen threw short a TD pass. I just think it was a bad day. For the Bills. I mean, but I agree with you. I want to give Dolphins their credit, okay? And I've seen some of y'all in the comments as well, okay? We're giving Dolphins their credit, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying, I think the first game that the Dolphins are going to lose is December 18th, and that's when they play the Bills again. So you think they're going to be undefeated until... I mean, I looked at the schedule, and I think that they're not going to lose until... Wow. I mean, Bills. the Dolphins are really, really good. They are. They like, are. on on offense, everything is clicking for them. The run game could use some help. But uh, Tua, you know, he's doing well enough. Yeah. Um, and, oh, my gosh. You see the hit that he took, too, when he, like, yeah, fell? And man. they kind of, like, hope, bobbled. And, I hope he's all right. Yeah, I hope, I hope he's, he's okay. Good. I mean, they're going to investigate to see if, like, if he was worthy of getting back in there. But, anyways. Yeah, they are looking into that. Yeah, but the Dolphins' defense, as well, is stepping up. Um, But... The Bills, I will say this, I think they missed five starters on defense. So hmm. maybe the outcome would have been different. I mean, you're saying that in December 18th, yep. in cold Buffalo, exactly, those people are going to be healthy, and maybe they're going to lose again. It's going to be game on, man. So, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't think they – nah. Nah. And you know what's crazy? We talked about it last week, and I was like, Bill shutting out the Dolphins by at least 20 points. <laughs> It's okay. I, I I thought the same kind of. I say some wild things on here, bro. As, but, like every every week, I'm like, I was wrong again. No, I don't know what's going on. You're you're saying things that like <laughs> make sense, but it's just the the nature of the NFL is just filled bro, with so many it's surprises. So unpredictable like, right you, now. You don't like, what's know what's going on. Uh, mm-hmm. I think last week, uh, not week three, but week week two, uh, combined between Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, Tua threw their way 32 times. Which is like okay, we all know who the focal point of the offense is. Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, you have a good tight end, and Mike Kosicki too has a good safety valve in case one of them were to get injured. But uh, yeah, so you're saying, yeah, the Dolphins are good. You're racking to the Bills. You think the Bills are eventually going to beat them? Um, you think that they're going to lose their first game come December 18th? Uh, and do you think when we look at a season perspective on how far they're getting? Mm-hmm. I think at this point it's safe to say that they are going to make the playoffs unless there's like, oh yeah, you know, something that goes absolutely wrong. Yeah. 
so how far do they make it in the postseason? They're not gonna make it to the championship. I think they'll they'll like make it to that final game. <laughs> the final game, the deciding factor. And then um and then they'll lose. But mm. then next year, look out. Would that spot be reserved for the Bills to yeah. go to the AFC championship? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So if they face if I'm right about anything. Which is a lot. We we've <laughs> we've all we've both been right about a lot. Uh we did not expect I mean, we absolutely expected the Dolphins to beat the Bills this week. Uh, so you're saying they split with the Bills. They go one and one in the regular season. And then in the playoffs, the Bills are the only team to really be capable of stopping the Dolphins. Would you say that's true? Or would it be another AFC team that could? The Chiefs lost to the Colts. So, I mean, that's that really was nice. crazy. Yeah. Dude, your MVP prediction, <laughs> dude, <laughs> Matt Ryan. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, the Chiefs uh, kind of stalled. I don't understand. Well, I don't know if that's a topic, but yeah, that's, crazy. that's crazy. No, we can, I can't yeah, believe was, that happened. Yeah, that was uh, the Colts. You know, who, you know who else was crazy? Um, the Jaguars beating your Chargers. Yeah, the Chargers for me were my Super Bowl. I I don't know if they were gonna make the Super Bowl, but I was gonna say at least the AFC Championship, and then it was between them and the Bills. But like. I would have expected the Chargers to be better at this. Maybe it was Justin Herbert's ribs. I don't know, man. But he looked like himself. Man. He just made some bad plays, and the Jaguars just looked good. And yeah, that was wild. The Jaguars that are was wild. Comment down below as far as the Dolphins go. Um, when do you guys feel like this is all going to come to an end? If it is going to come to an end, do you think this is the magical season where like Mike McDaniel is just like great? asset to this team and is going to get them so far in the playoffs, the postseason, and hopefully eventually make the AFC Championship or even a Super Bowl appearance. Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Miami Dolphins. Uh, but switching from one 3-0 and team to the, to the other team that was 3-0, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm. Oof. Man. I think going into the season, a lot of people were like, it's between the Cowboys and the Eagles on who's going to win the NFC East. And now it's like, Eagles are just like climbing up and the Cowboys are just kind of staying in the same spot. Really? Like, that's what I feel like. Well, with Dak's in injury and everything. I think they're doing better without Dak. Whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Listen, and I'm a Dak fan. Like, I, lo I like Dak Prescott. Like, right. He's cool. He's good people. But that boy Rush is nasty. It's rush hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's rush hour. Wipe yourself off. You did. Hope you caught that. Jun Tao. I'm, I don't know. What other quotes are there from Rush Hour? Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Of course, Come on, yeah. the Come famous on. one. That's the one. What That's about the one. Filth the Fish? Can I get some Filth the Fish? Which one was that in? <laughs> was that in two? It was one of them. Yeah, I don't know. He was on a plane. He's like, yeah, can I get some Filth the Fish? Oh, uh, that's the end of the, end of the first one. Yeah, I think. okay, there okay. we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he, they were also on a plane at the end of the second. I don't know. Anyways. Comment your rush hour quotes. <laughs> Are the Eagles the best team in the NFC, and can anyone stop them in the NFC? Yeah, I know one team in particular that can stop them. Oh, <laughs> don't create the suspense. Like, let's, <laughs> please. You already. It'd know. be an honor. The New York Giants. Oh stop my! The Eagles. The okay so. By the time this video is filmed, the Giants are undefeated. That's right. The Giants are undefeated. Still. Let's go. Dog, you know how I'm about to cry. You know how excited I am? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, when do the Eagles face the Giants? Do you know? <laughs> no, no, not at the time. No, we can, we can look it up. Um, they, play, they don't play the Giants until December 11th. Okay. So we're going to get our dreams crushed, like, right before Christmas. So. <laughs> Oh, man. Tis the season. <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> it's, uh, it's okay. Hey, 2-0 right now. By the, I mean, there's Monday Night Football here coming up, but this was filmed prior to Monday Night Football. But, okay, so the Philadelphia Eagles disregarding the New York Giants. Uh, what is happening with this team as far as, like, why are they so good, in your opinion? Hurts is putting the hurting on them. He's looking good, ain't he? Mm-hmm. MVP type level. MVP type level. Where yeah. was he on my radar when we were discussing MVPs? Mm. 
I don't know. I wasn't impressed by him last year, but I also wasn't impressed by the Dolphins last year, and now look at them both. Yeah, we predicted all of this to happen. Uh, yeah, the knock against Jalen Hurst last year was great rusher, yeah, but w- like passing game, what's going on? And then you bring in A.J. Brown, and you're thinking to yourself, or at least I was, and along with many other people, was like, oh, A.J. Brown's production is just kind of like, take a hit because this offense isn't designed to... Mm. But it seems like in the offseason, Jalen Hurts, who's known to be this workaholic, like after games, yeah. like goes into the weight room and like just That's squats crazy. like 400, 500 pounds. That's wild. Like right after games, yeah. And Do you have that kind of work ethic? Nah, dude, nah. <laughs> I'm lucky if I make it to the gym like three or four times a week. Like <laughs> That's funny. I always tell myself, I want to get swole. This is my goal. I want to get swole before I'm 30. Okay. Which is in July. I just want to turn 30. Oh. So I'm trying to get ripped because I know that like early 30s is like when your body starts to, I mean, it's I'm probably experiencing it right now, but like, you know, <laughs> it, it's like, early it really tries to like, it starts to, you know, decline. Yeah. So like, I'm trying to get jacked, but you know, Jalen Hurts, I think one ups me. I think he has a step up on me. That's crazy. So we knew that he was a workaholic, and we knew that, you know, he puts in the work in the offseason, but we didn't expect this passing game to just explode like this. Like, it's opened things up for Devontae Smith, who had, like, close to 200 yards receiving yesterday. Gosh, Jalen Hurts, MVP. MVP? Candidates. (laughs) (laughs) candidates you gave it to jefferson ah yeah i did man i okay so it was justin herbert and justin jefferson were my picks but like if i had to redo it jalen hurts i'm still gonna put justin herbert up there because i think he's gonna turn things around Mm -hmm. eventually but jalen hurts matt ryan for you Just got to gotta let the people know, you know. You know, I think that's, like, officially going to be, like, like how people remember me now. <laughs> Not Devin Duvernay? Not Devin Duvernay. Oh, the man. The guy that chose Matt Ryan. I said I said candidate, though. I said runner-up. You did. Okay? You did. You did. But they're like, every P, idiot. I'm like, golly, bro. <laughs> like, that was JoJo that commented, <laughs> idiot. On- yeah, thanks, JoJo. Appreciate it, bro. Glad we have your support. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, But... The Eagles' defense as well is probably going to finish as top five this year. Yeah. Like, Darius Slay Mm. doesn't like to go by Darius, just Slay. Slay (laughs) in the back. Don't call me by my first name. (laughs) Yeah, can shut down any wide receiver one, it seems like. I mean, did it with Justin Jefferson. Uh, The defensive line improved. Linebackers improved. Like, this whole team is just. They look great. I mean, they, they look great. Yeah. Can't take anything away from them. But I will say they play the Jaguars next Sunday. That's true. And if we know anything about the NFL, is you can't thirty-eight to ten against the Chargers, twenty-four to zero. I think was the score against the Colts. Like Jaguars are sneaky good too. And if I had to pick one team for the NFC though that could dethrone the Eagles, and I'm still going to go back on this. Who do you think I'm going to say? The Commanders. Bro, they just lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, I'm going to say the Minnesota Vikings. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Don't freak out. Okay? You're freaking out. I'm not. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out right now? Stop. I'm calm. The Minnesota Vikings. I agree. Wait, what? Hassan, nope. I, I agree with you. No, Minnesota Vikings, so you agree. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. I think eventually this offense does turn it around. They finally get Justin Jefferson going. We see what happened in mm-hmm. week one against the Green Bay Packers where Jefferson exploded, nine receptions, 184 mm-hmm. yards. I think he goes back to that. I think he's going to be the focal point of the offense moving forward. And I do feel that the Vikings could surprise a lot of people this year and could compete <clears throat> with yeah. – I mean, I know you have the Buccaneers and the Packers, but, like, you know, there's questions about the Packers and their offense. There's questions about Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Like, Is so. there, though? I think so. Tom Brady hasn't looked great <clears throat> all season. 
I mean, he's missed some weapons, but like missed like three wide receivers. Yeah, he missed. Yeah, no, no. Like, come on. And man, they should have not lost that game. They should have not lost that game. If Tom Brady had all his weapons, Aaron, it wouldn't have been a question. I mean, Aaron Rodgers was dealing though, like in the first half. Yeah, leave your comments down below. What team do you think could dethrone the Philadelphia Eagles if there is any team? Um, let me ask you this before we wrap up with this segment. How far do you think the Eagles are getting? You think that they're going all the way or they're going to someone's going to put a halt to them? I know you said the Giants, but like in the <clears> long <throat> run in the postseason. They uh the the Packers for sure. I think November 27th the Packers are going to beat the the Eagles. Um, I'm excited about this one, though. The Cowboys and Eagles on October 16th. Mm. That's going to be good. It's going to be a good game. I'm excited to see that one. Yeah, it's going to be great. But, yeah, the, um, I would I would say, for real, though, the the Packers. Okay. <clears throat> that's No, that's a fair point. I mean, Matt LaFleur has been doing great without weapons for Aaron Rodgers. Three straight NFC Championship games, so I wouldn't doubt if it's a fourth one. Uh, but leave your comments down below. Comment about the Philadelphia Eagles. What yep. makes this team so great? What do you think is going to happen with the Eagles and their fate in the 2022 season? Are they going to go all the way? And if not, which team in the NFC do you think has a good chance of dethroning them? Leave your comments. Would love to interact with all of you. Now we go from positives. Okay, we've been talking about the Dolphins <clears throat> and the Philadelphia Eagles are two of the remaining three undefeated teams along with the New York Giants. That's right. Let's go in go the other you. direction. Okay. Teams that are not looking good, and after three weeks, we have a good sample size. We know which teams are good. We know which teams are bad. Which teams do you feel like, actually, if you could just pick one team, do you think is in the most trouble right now? Like, we got to get things going. Otherwise, changes are going to happen. What team would that be? Denver Broncos. Mm. They got to figure something. They look. They don't look good at all, even with Wilson. It's crazy. Like, I didn't I, expect that. I didn't expect that at all. This is like the same offense as like if Drew Locke was the quarterback. Who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. It's a, uh, and you traded all this capital, man. And and now so you're in money. you're in this hole right now, at like money, but then also like draft picks next year. Like yeah. you can't. Like they're, it's a blessing that they're two and one at this point. Like. Getting a victory against the Houston Texans still didn't look good. I mean, it's the Texans. That, what, they haven't won a game, right? Yeah, they haven't. I don't know. Zero, two, and one. And against the San Francisco 49ers this past Sunday, I mean, they just barely got by with one point. Yeah. And it was because, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo just kind of did a whole step in the back of the end zone. But that was that's, crazy. Uh, you know. What's more embarrassing? Um, Jimmy, Jimmy stepping out of bounds? And that getting that safety or the Dolphins kicking that dude in the butt? Oh, Thomas Morstead. Um, What's more embarrassing? What's the embarrassed player of the week? Oh, we should do that. Dude, come on. We should do that. It, 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 we should make it into a segment where, like, we all pick embarrassing plays that's happened this past week, and then we should say, come on, man. <laughs> <throughout> the- <laughs> or, din in it, din in it. Absolutely 100% original, dude. This will make time to football blow up. Um, Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Comment down below your most embarrassing play of the week. Uh, and then say, come on, man, along with it. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to say, uh, oh, man. I'm going to say the punt. The punt? I'm going to say, oh. No, okay. I'll, I will say Jimmy G. Because with the punt, like he had no room. He had no room. He had no room. And it was the Dolphins' fault for passing it like on third down or second down or whatever when they could have ran out forty yard or forty seconds and could have gotten like an extra three, four yards to give yeah. him a little bit more room. Yeah. But he had no room. I, I, it wasn't his fault. Jimmy G. Jimmy G for you. Jimmy yeah, G. that's what I'm saying. Um But yeah, what what do you think needs to change for the Broncos? Um I'm looking I'm looking through all these teams. But I think I'm sticking with it. I mean, the uh, they're the, yeah, just their offense does not look good. Yeah, I've never seen Russell been sacked so many times. Yeah, especially when he was on the Seahawks. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, Russell Wilson just got sacked. That's 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 different for me. Like, 
that's like seeing Tom Brady sack. sack. Like, you, that's yeah, not something never you really happens. see. So, uh, I would have to say their O line, and I don't know. Like, I'm I'm trying to give uh, Wilson some grace. Like, he's getting accustomed to a new team, a new franchise. Um, not everybody can be Tom Brady, just be so versatile, like coming to a different team and just be like, I'm the goat, you know. So, yeah. But um, I hope I'm hoping next year would be different for him after he's getting used to his teammates and things like that. But yeah, the offensive line needs some help. It really does. Um, I I don't like I said. It, it's like as if they did not improve at quarterback at all. Yeah. Um, and and it could because of the offensive line. In my opinion, a lot of it I think could be coaching as well. I mean, we we remember week one with the Seahawks, like they kicked a sixty four yarder mm-hmm. instead of going for it on fourth and five and getting like a fifty five yarder instead. Yeah. Um. So a lot of it could be coaching, like indecisiveness can't make like the right decisions because with this off this offense is loaded like two stud wide receivers two great running backs yeah russell wilson who's been a one of the best quarterbacks of the last decade and uh but i will say wilson getting sacked more i have watched the last three games and it's because He's not as mobile as he used to be. I, I was just about to say that. Like, yeah. I, he's not running around. He's not as much as he used to. And and I know this for a fact because, uh, in week one, I placed a bet that Russell Wilson <laughs> would get more than seven rushing yards, and he only got like four. And I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> what, what? He's supposed to, like, anyways. So maybe he's just not making a lot of plays with his legs, and that's causing. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he, and don't, so, he don't look like Russell Wilson out there. Yeah, he looks uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not not as uh, magician esque as he used to be. Yeah. Uh, but the Denver Broncos, I like it. Like I said, it's a blessing that they're two and one because if they were like, they could easily be zero and three at this point, and that would be really, really bad. And that would be my pick if they were zero and three. But instead, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the only team that is zero and three, and that is their AFC West rival, the Las Vegas Raiders, only team in the NFL that is zero and three. And we had big expectations for them coming into the season because I know that it's the AFC West uh, and the offense does not look bad, but it's more so you sign Devonte Adams to elevate Derek Carr, but it's been Derek Carr. That's been looking the same. Mm. And Devonte Adams has actually been suffering with Derek Carr as a quarterback. So uh, I think it is the Las Vegas Raiders. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? That's good. Yeah. I'm not mad at that choice. I it, agree. Yeah, and things need to change. And uh, Josh McDaniel doesn't have a good track record as far as head coach, being a head coach goes. He was the head coach of the Broncos in the 2010s. Yeah, something needs to change with the Raiders, and um, it needs to change fast. So uh, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts as far as you know the Broncos or uh, the Raiders or if there's any, any other team that's in trouble. If you had to pick just one team that's in the most amount of trouble, which team would it be? Interact with us. Let me know your thoughts. We're going to take a quick break to tell you guys about Manscaped. Guys, the Lawnmower 4.0 package is out there. And if you guys have been watching Time to Football for this last month, you saw Anthony yep. win a Lawnmower 4.0 package from answering some trivia questions. Have you had a chance to use that? I have, and it's amazing. It even has a little flashlight. So. Yeah. You can manscape in the dark. <laughs> yeah, for us guys that have um, a little bit of melanin to us, can't really see anything, it's pretty good, you know? It, it works out, checks out. Uh, the Lawnmower 4.0 Complete Package comes with ball toner and ball deodorant as well yeah. as the razor. comes with a weed whacker as well for a, your nose hairs and your ear hairs as well that my wife, my wonderful, beautiful wife, loves to point out all the time. No matter how many times I get that hair out, it always grows back so fast. But I have the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 to help with that. So that's okay. Uh, use the promo code T2F. Click that link in the description. And if you use that promo code, you get 20% off your purchase. Manscaped. Make sure you guys jump up on the train. Your balls will thank you. Looking at the schedule for week four. I'm looking at it. Let me just ask you one question. Uh, we'll do this every week as well. If you had to pick one team... Okay. That is going to pull off an upset this week. Which team would it be? The Falcons beating the Browns. 
Dude. <laughs> hey, don't discredit the Falcons, man. Yo, y'all got y'all win uh, on Sunday, man. I was happy about that. We almost blew it. Congratulate. Almost for real. Yeah. It was, uh, gosh. The offense, dude, we are one quarterback away from actually being a, a pretty good offense. I feel like. Like Cordero Patterson, he's the truth, apparently. Drake London is the truth. Kyle like, Pitts, we know how good he is. Yeah. Uh, so, like, that, yeah. and then Calvin Ridley, if he comes back, if he doesn't get traded or anything, like, I mean, Calvin Ridley's in the same boat as me. He bet uh, over seven rushing yards on Russell Wilson and got suspended <laughs> for that. But, but Mariota, he doesn't, he's not that bad. He's like, not. I feel like, from what I've seen, when he has time in the pocket, like, he can he throws some dots. Yeah, no, and he, and he always finds an opening if he has time. Yeah, if he if he's rushed, that ball's going out of bounds or it's being fumbled. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Um, I think he's pretty pretty serviceable. I think this team mm-hmm. could I don't want to say easily, but they were in positions to if they were three and zero, like it that's a possibility because. Mm-hmm. Week one, they blew it against, in, in typical Atlanta fashion, blew it against the Saints. Week two, almost came back against the Rams. That was crazy. And then in week three, finally pulling off the win. But, yeah, against the Browns. Jacoby Brissett looks amazing, too. Mm. So, I mean, but you think they're going to? Yeah, hopefully y'all got that one in the bag. Yeah. Is, is the Dolphins beating the Bengals an upset? See, I wrote down that as like a backup for me. Yeah. Um, I think it's the Bengals who might be the underdog. Okay, okay, game. okay, okay. Because so, the Dolphins are gonna smack the the Bengals. Smack them. Smack them. Really? Okay. Smack them. All right. Man, um, we got some great games this week. Mm-hmm. You got the Bills and the Ravens. That's gonna be exciting. Be good. That's gonna be a fifty point game. Like, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm curious to see because the matchup that I want to see is Ravens offense versus Bills defense. Like we will finally know for sure, like yeah. which one is the truth. Uh, and the way the Bills defense has been performing against offenses like the Rams, like against the Titans, even against the Dolphins, they yeah. limited them to just 21 points. Like I'm interested to see that game. Yeah. But upset of the week, Falcons over Browns. I like that. That's a good. Uh, that's a good pick. It. Uh, for me, uh, we talked about the Bengals and the Dolphins. I was going to put the Bengals down to win on Thursday night football against the Dolphins. But then I saw another one that I was like, oh, I can't pass up on this. I'm going to choose the Monday night football game between the 49ers and the Rams. The 49ers are at home, and I think that the 49ers are going to pull it off. I think last year, the 49ers swept the Rams, if I'm not mistaken, in the regular season until the Rams beat them in the playoffs. I could be wrong about that. I think the last week the Rams might have won, but still, the 49ers look great mm-hmm. against the Rams. They're 1-2 and two right now. Jimmy G is back, and this offense is back to the way it used to be. I mean, they kind of struggled against the Broncos' defense, but the Broncos' defense is legit. And the Rams' defense, surprisingly, it's not as good as people may think in years past. Like, the secondary is probably the biggest weak point we know the defensive line with Aaron Donald is pretty good but if I had to pick one upset it would be the 49ers against the Rams just because the track record just because Mm. its defense seems a little bit worse than it did in years past but ooh, what about the Jaguars and the Eagles uh I know we talked about the Jaguars earlier man I'd be a huge upset but that's uh, not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think <laughs> I think not gonna happen. Yeah. You fans that are Jaguars fans, it's a happy time to be alive. Uh <laughs> yeah, leave your comments. What is your upset pick of the week? What do you think is gonna happen? NFL every week is filled with upsets. Want to hear your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen? Uh that's it. That's it for this episode of Time to Football, our week four edition. Hey. I encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button and get your uh, notifications turned on as well so you guys can stay up to date when we come out with these podcasts every single week on Tuesdays. Uh, To get you guys caught up, 
with everything happening in the NFL. On Thursdays, we'll come out with our NFL picks videos. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, I mean, that's it. I mean, you got anything else to say? A rush hour quote? A rush. <laughs> what is there? Uh, what it is a good for? Absolutely it. nothing. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Say, yeah. I like that. You sound just like Jackie Chan. Yeah, what it is a good for? We thank you guys for watching this episode of Time to Football. Again, subscribe, follow us on social media. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Your balls Take care. Will thank you. Nin, 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 nin.